This is the 2021 Math Kangaroo Levels 11-12, problem number 25. The solid shown in the next picture has 12 regular pentagonal faces, the other faces being either equilateral triangles or squares. Each pentagonal face is surrounded by 5 square faces, and each triangular face is surrounded by 3 square faces. Draw and write 1 on each triangular face, 5 on each pentagonal face, and negative 1 on each square. What is the total sum of the numbers written on the solid? A, 20, B, 50, C, 60, D, 80, or E, 120. This is the problem as it originally appeared on the test. So you can pause the video now if you want to try to figure it out on your own, and then press play when you're ready for us to go through the solution together. So we're trying to figure out the total sum of the numbers written on the solid. We have pentagons with fives on them, triangles with one, squares with negative one. So in order to find the total sum, we want to figure out how many of each of these types of figures we have, because we know what is written on each one of them. So let's start with the pentagons. Well, the problem tells us that we have 12 of them, so we should count the number of triangles. So for each pentagon, we have one, two, three, four, five triangles that have a vertex in common with the pentagon. So we can take 12 pentagons times five triangles per pentagon for a total of 60. But we overcount it because each triangle has vertices in common with three different pentagons. So we need to divide this number by three to get a total of 20 triangles. Now let's count the number of squares. We're going to use a similar method. So for each pentagon, we have one, two, three, four, five squares that have a side in common with it. So 12 pentagons, five squares per pentagon is a total of 60. Again, we overcounted. So we see that each square has sides in common with two different pentagons. We divide by two for a total of 30. Now to find the total sum, we're gonna have five written on each pentagon, 12 pentagons plus one written on each triangle, we have 20 triangles, plus negative one written on each square, and we have 30 squares. So for the sum, we have 60, it's 20 minus 30, which gives us a sum of 50. And that is answer choice B. Thank you so much for watching, and please subscribe if you'd like to see more videos.